Hey, it's Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Hopefully you've seen the videos and posts that we've put on our website about thermocline and also how to locate fish with a thermocline present in your lake or reservoir. And now I'm going to talk about turnover or the lake turning over. So if you will remember back from the thermocline video we started talking about the effects of the thermocline on the water and how it sits in and everything else we had 0 to 12 foot water we had 12 to 22 or 23 foot water and then we had the dead zone and this is where our thermocline exists well we had all that rotting decaying matter down on the bottom of the lake and it sucked all the oxygen out of this water and that's what created that dead zone well as we come out of the warm water period and the weather begins to cool off, well, what happens is the lake begins to turn over. And what that means is all this stuff that's on the bottom from this cooler water In this warmer water, everything here begins to mix. And all this nasty stuff from the bottom of the lake begins to come up to the top. And in the middle of the water column, and the warmer water begins to go down here, and it all mixes up. So Generally how you can tell that this is happening is you will get on the water and the lake will look like chocolate milk. Coffee has a real distinct darker color to it than it generally is and it has a very foul smell to it. Uh, it will smell very strong. A lot of people say rotten eggs. I don't know what, how to really describe the smell. All I can tell you is that it smells really bad. So we're going to identify the lake turnover by the color of the water and the smell. I've seen this happen in mid-September. I've seen it happen in early October. It really just depends on the body of water and the weather in your area and how quickly it cools off. Usually here in Texas it stays pretty warm through September and oftentimes into early October. So it really just kind of depends on what the weather does as to when this is going to happen. A lot of times it will start very gradually and you'll see just kind of a notice in the change of water color over a few days. A lot of days it'll just happen or a lot of times it'll happen real abruptly. Usually when we have a cold front just come out of nowhere and You'll go out to the lake one day, everything will be fine. You'll go out to the lake the next day and you'll notice the color and you'll notice the smell and that's when the lake is turning over. So now I'm going to tell you about fishing when the lake is turning over. and what you should do 
to catch fish when the lake's turning over. So number one is don't fish. Number two is don't fish. You can work on your boat, fix gear, and read, learn to catch catfish.com. What I'm getting at here is the fishing during the lake turnover is some of the most horrible fishing of the year. It gets really tough. And I have caught fish during the turnover. Uh, I've had very successful fishing trips in the turnover, but they've been very few and far between. And the fishing, again, is really tough. So that's the information about the lake turnover and what happens. So for more information, tips and tricks on catching catfish, go to learntocatchcatfish.com.